Hi, I'm Michelle LeVan with Art Print Express, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about framing a pastel. A pastel needs to be treated just a little bit different than just a regular art pe paper piece because a pastel has a, a graininess to the, it. The material have, sits on top of the paper, and so the medium uh, with any kind of jiggling can can sprinkle off. And so we want to try to protect uh, the framing and the look of the entire thing by doing some alterations to uh, our mat and to make sure that the entire frame package um, doesn't end up with little pieces of pastel down at the bottom. On a typical mat, it is it has a uh, bevel. A, a white or a black bevel that you can see and if it's double matted there you'd see the, the white and then the color and then the white again a little bit and then the second colored bat. Well what we want to do on a pastel is we want to reverse the bevel and we also want to lift up the mat just a little bit to create a little pocket in case any of those little pieces of pastel over time you know flutters down so it doesn't stick onto that white, it won't have any white to stick on. So here I've got a little pastel that we're going to frame and as you can see I've mounted it and I've used corners um, to mount it so it the original stays original and then I've used some backer board and it's about the, the thickness of a mat board to lift the mat, the next mat, off of the back. So here's our second mat, our first first mat, it would be second in order from the, from the top, and I also made it have a little bit of a dimension by adding a the backer board again to the second mat. And you know, this treatment can be done on any kind of paper, uh, print or uh, original, to give it some a modern uh, three-dimensional look as well. So it's not just for pastels, but this is recommended for pastels. So I'm just going to add this mat that I've already set up. And one of the things you want to remember is not to make not to make this bigger than what would be shown behind here, but you want it to have enough room that it supports the mat, so the mat doesn't sag over time. Same thing here. The top mat, the top mat has a, um, it's, this is called double mat, and there's a little bit of a reveal on the mat behind. So you want to make sure that those mats, that backer board, does not show. So I'm going to line this, before I put, put both mats on here, I want to make sure the mats are lined. So we're going to, this is a handy dandy double-sided uh, double tape uh, gun, and you can actually get these at Hobby Lobby now. Okay, so I'm going to line this top mat up, double checking my measurements, making sure it's good all the way around. A little heavy at the top. that down and then we'll take our original piece of artwork with the lift and there you go got a three-dimensional look to it and then you simply add the glass 
you always want to make sure that you handle the glass from the edges or use gloves to keep your fingerprints off of it. And I got just a little bit of dust from moving stuff around here. And then we would just add the frame. And there you go. A beautiful piece. And we'll just close it up here in, in a minute. And uh, it'll all be done. Beautiful, modern looking piece. Perfect for the any the, the small space this is going to go into. Thanks for watching. And if this has helped you, please share it with somebody, especially anybody who might have a pastel to frame. And this is also a good reason to bring it in, to have somebody who knows what they're doing get it done for you. It's a little more complicated than a regular, just basic straight frame. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks.